We just had probably the scariest eBay glitch we have ever seen. We see all kinds of glitches, but this one really had us nervous. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at probably the scariest eBay glitch I have ever seen in my life. Now, I've seen a ton of them. eBay's lost millions of eBay users' photographs. We had thousands of photographs just disappear. I've had listings that I am sure I had up that were gone after a certain point of time. Not on our part. We actually track those. I would honestly recommend everybody else tracking and writing down your listing totals in the morning when you start and in the evening when you finish. If you're doing anything else too, I would write any new ones you listed, anything else like that, and make sure you are always aware of how many active listings you should have. There are reports all over on all kinds of boards, Reddits, even on eBay itself about people's listings disappearing over time, totally gone from their store. Now we actually use the zero quantity option on eBay. So our listings stay active even if they have zero quantity for a certain length of time after they are done. It's an option anyone can use. There are many reasons why you use it, but I always track our totals because of how we handle our inventory. So I check them constantly. Any action that I do or anybody else here does, they write down numbers before and after. If they list 35 cards, there should be 35 new listings on the site. If 10 items sold as well, there should be 10 less items in active listings, or at least 10 less quantity. Now we have always recommended that everybody should check the numbers. You never know what's going to happen. If you look around, it won't take you very long at all to find tons of people stating that their items disappeared from their store, weren't deleted, weren't sold. There's just no listing for them. We have several from last month ourselves that I can't account for. The numbers don't sink. I could see one or two maybe our fault, but when it becomes more and more and it's constant, I've got to wonder, especially after you see this. Now, when I first found the problem, my numbers were going down. I was losing hundreds of listings at a time. It was down in the 29,300 or 400 range. So I was missing like 500 listings. If you watch the number, this is me live actively going through my listings and just reloading the page. It's 772 now reloading the page. Every time I do this, the numbers are different. It could be anywhere. Now, if you only have a few hundred listings, you could see why this would be of concern for sure. Now it's down to 581. Again, this is live. I'm not cutting. I'm not doing anything to this. This is straight shot off of what's happening. Now, I made sure it wasn't just happening by a reload or anything else like that. When I click eBay's listing, it reloads it through eBay. If I go to other computers, it says the exact same numbers. It bounces back and forth no matter where I'm at. Did it from my phone, I did it from some other places, and the numbers just keep bouncing back and forth. It's been going on for probably 15, 20 minutes when I first started to record it. So we were already puzzled, waited to see what was going to happen, if maybe there was some listings or relists or something else, the automatic ones, but nothing I can see would account for anything that's going on here. So the total 680 right now, again, this is just me searching through here. The numbers are just driving me nuts. I'm a numbers guy, so this is very frustrating. Reloading it again, and we'll see what the numbers are now. Now we're back up to 708. Again, it, it's probably done this for well over 20 minutes. Now, obviously, if you're not keeping track of your totals, you may miss that something's going on like this. Are you gaining listings? Are you losing listings? What's going on? Right now, it's 735. Again, constantly, constantly, constantly. This was honestly one of the scariest ones because I don't trust now it's 761. I don't trust that eBay wouldn't lose my listings. They've lost thousands of our photos. They lost tens of millions of people's photos as well. 783 now. So uh, again, you've got to be careful. Always, always, always write down your numbers. Make sure that they match the next morning. If they don't, I would seriously try and figure out what's going on. In some cases, if you're messing around or relisting or doing something, some could possibly disappear because of something you did. But the majority of the time, it does not seem to be the case. The numbers just go up. The numbers go down. Uh, now we're back down to 605. 
So we were just in the 700 range, 730 some odd range, and now back down to the 600. So they're moving everywhere, every which way you can go. Now we should have had 29,813 at this point, right this second. I've double checked all of our numbers. That's what we should have had running from this morning. So none of the totals seem to even stay. Now a few times it's frozen like this where the numbers haven't changed. Now I've said this before too, eBay is less than half of our revenue, but the majority of my time, my troubles, my issues always, always, always come from eBay. Even if eBay is 40% of our business, we're still spending 90 plus percent of our time dealing with issues just like that. Now it's still stuck at 6.05. I'll reload it here in just a second and we'll see if it changes at all. Now, if you've only, again, as I said, only got a few stores, this could be very troubling if you're at 500 and then all of a sudden you're down to 100 listings because of something like this. Do I trust that eBay is going to be able to find them once they disappear? They couldn't pull back our photos when the photos disappeared, so why would I trust them with my listings? Now, I've even went down farther. It's now 517 on this one. And we'll see what happens once more. Now we're back up to 612. You can see it. It's not me. Anybody that's seeing this happen in their store would be crazy not to be concerned. Now it's back up to 669. Where's it going to stop? It's almost like a slot machine, and who knows how many listings I'm going to get at the end of the day. Another reload. I bet you it'll be a little higher this time. 761. So now we jumped a whole bunch more once again. Now, I could have showed you another 10 or 15 more minutes of those numbers just going all over. They even went farther down into the 300 range. So, in some points there, it might have been missing five or 600 of my listings. That's a lot of time. If I had to go back in there and figure out which listings were gone, it would take me forever. It could be something valuable, something that could have sold quickly. I'll have hundreds of listings if it ends up missing some who knows where. Uh, again, I don't trust eBay anymore ever since the June uh, a few years ago fiasco with the photos. When a bunch of items relisted on eBay, automatically relisted for tons of people in June sometime. I want to say June 18th, but a bunch of everybody's photos were gone. You only had one single image for all your listings. I called eBay, and I somewhere down here even probably have a recording of that, but the point of it is they quoted like 90 million or 100 million or some phenomenally high number of photos that were gone from all sorts of users. It wasn't just some small one. It was people across the entire platform. Anybody who's been on for two or three years remembers that. eBay didn't compensate us for it. The little bit of compensation they gave us back then was I think a couple hundred listings that you had to use in like two or three days otherwise you couldn't use them but and some people can't just change their whole schedule around to relist and add photos and all this other things to it I don't trust eBay as the problem every single day I am on the site there are glitches I know at e-commerce bytes has articles all the time of new glitches popping up glitches in all sorts of aspects of it I've also seen where credits from some of these issues should have been credited back to accounts and the credit Credits aren't. The majority of the issues and glitches that I see most of the time benefit eBay. If you don't catch it, it's on you. It's not on eBay because it's your responsibility to make sure that eBay's straight. I check our bills all the time. A large chunk of the time, I found errors in our bills, our monthly bills, double charge for things, charges they couldn't explain at all. I've personally had people share $1,000 plus overcharges with no explanation from eBay whatsoever. And that person was told they had to pay that amount. Otherwise, they weren't going to be a seller online. They've got to fix the glitches. The end of the story is they've got to fix the glitches. Now, it did settle at a specific number on there. I think it was $7.99. So I'm still questioning whether a few listings did get lost since I have it that we should be over 800 as of this morning prior to this issue happening. I've checked my numbers. My numbers don't quite sync with what eBay says. And I've written these numbers down myself this morning. It wasn't some random employee or anything else like that. So my eyes don't deceive me like that. If something should be a specific amount, it should still be that amount, unless there's something going on at eBay. 
Everybody knows how bad eBay is at admitting things when they happen. Now, if you have missed listings, items that just disappeared at your store, please leave some remarks down in the comments section below. It would be really interesting to see how many people out there are missing listings from your store. So again, please leave a comment down below if you have listings that you can't account for that are just gone from your store. So again, there's a reason why I always write down numbers and track those. If something's missing, I want to know what it is, when it happened in the whole works, and figure out where they're going. If by any chance it was our fault, I'd of course want to fix the issue. Obviously, I have more concerns that it's eBay with all these sorts of things showing up on a constant basis. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Tootsie Roll, I think I'm in love with you Whatever it is, I think